Just a quick video of some experimentation I've been doing to try and make solar panels on uh, solar garden lights waterproof. In the past, I've tried things like uh, lacquering over them or putting this clear garden tape over them. It's made by 3M and it's got sort of ultraviolet resistant garden tape. It's used for repairing cloches, 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 and uh, greenhouse uh, glazing when it gets cracked. But I've noticed that even that uh, tends to erode off after a while. It may be abrasion of uh, branches rubbing against this because these are in trees. And in this case, it's, uh, it's rubbed off the plastic and then the water's got under the solar panel. And then because there's a small DC voltage present under there, current flows through the water, it causes electrolytic corrosion and it kills the solar light. So one of the things I was considering doing was putting a little disc of silicon. I've tried that with another light. I put a screed of silicon across. This is standard uh, sealant type silicone. Uh, clear stuff. Obviously the clear stuff's the only stuff that's going to work here. So here's a new light uh, and I'm initially going to test it for output. So here's the voltage that this thing puts out. It puts out about, well let's put it right up to the light. It puts out about 2.6 volts, which is pretty good. Um, and if I put it around to the current setting, I'm going to have to put it around to the 200 milliamp setting because this thing, despite being about 3 quarter of an inch or 20 millimeters square, when you put it up to the light, uh, it generates, let's get it dead centre, let's see if I can, yep, so I managed to peak at about uh, 20, 25 milliamps, That's, was, uh, that was quite good. So 25 milliamps is what we're aiming for. So what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to rough this surface up. I'm going to apply silicon in a new and interesting way that I've just come up with. Um, and uh, then we'll see how it measures once I've got the silicon on. So I'm going to use this uh, abrading pen, which is a, a steel fibre one, just to basically scratch the plastic around here to see if I can get the, the uh, silicon to stick into it. So I'm just sort of scuffing that up a bit. And then I'll rub it with a cloth to sort of make sure it's... Uh, kind of, well, I was going to say I should really degrease it, shouldn't I? I suppose ultimately... Uh, some acetone or something would have been quite good for that. But let's just uh, rub it briskly with a bit of paper towel. Brisk enough to shred the paper towel, apparently. And then my technique for putting this on is to get a piece of uh, polythene. You know that slippery plastic? In the case of these polythene bags, they're the ones that when you stack them on your workbench, uh, they immediately avalanche off because they slide against each other very well. So I'm going to cut a piece of the polythene by cutting this bag apart. Suitably sized piece of polythene, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt some of the silicon compound, silicon sealant. This is the acid curing stuff. It's the easiest stuff to get. I don't know if that's the best option, but it's what I'm using. Uh, put a blob into the middle, a good generous sort of like a large P into the middle of that. Place the polythene layer over the top of it to protect your fingers. And then through the uh, polythene, just squish that mush about to spread it so it overlaps the solar panel and goes onto the plastic at the side. You can kind of work it around with your finger in a sort of spiral fashion, but the polythene tends to slide a bit when you do that, I've noticed. So let's uh, layer that round like that bias a wee bit more over to that side. And what this is doing is creating a layer of silicon over the solar panel underneath this polythene, which will then hopefully peel off afterwards. I've yet to try that, but I've got one I made yesterday, True Blue Peter style. So that's me spread that around. The first thing I want to do, because it's it's got various variable thickness across here, you can see the slight ripples in the polythene uh, from the silicon underneath. First thing I want to do is actually test this again and see if it's performing as well. So let's bring the meter back in and see if the silicon's actually cutting down. The polythene is sticking to my fingers here. Let's stick the meter on. The voltage will be the same because the solar, the voltage tends to be the number of cells roughly multiplied by 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So let's turn this up to the 200 milliamp and see if I get anywhere near that again. So I was I got 25 last time when I got dead center. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting the same current. So that is the silicon is letting the uh, light through absolutely perfectly. That's good. It's still putting out the same amount of current. That's 25 milliamps from that tiny cell. I just can't go over that. I I didn't really expect it to be so high. I thought it was just going to be a few milliamps. 
So, now in true Blue Peter style, here's one I prepared yesterday. Is the polythene going to come off? The polythene is just pulling off easily, leaving the silicon underneath. Is that kind of dry? Yes, it is. That's working very well so far. So now that just leaves this to be cured and these other lights to be cured um, for a while and then put outside and we'll see how they last. So that looks like a, quite a promising result.